What's for dinner? It's back to basics. It's really basic, like eating the rainbow, basically. You know, eat brightly colored fruits and vegetables, even if they're not brightly colored. Like, even if your child will only eat iceberg lettuce, it's still better than no lettuce at all. Um, every fruit and every vegetable has beneficial qualities. When it comes to making sure your child is getting the nutrients he or she needs from their diet, registered dietitian and nutritionist Abby Greenspun says parents should keep it simple and don't let marketing tricks fool you. There are entire aisles in the supermarket devoted to packaged processed food for babies. And your babies don't need that. They need food, they need real food. It may sound like a silly question, but I have to ask, what is real food again? Fresh fruits, fresh vegetables, nuts and seeds and nut butters and chicken and fish and meat that is not necessarily a hot dog or a chicken finger or, you know, french fries. They can eat pasta, but if they're going to be doing pasta, whole wheat pasta is better. I mean, there are even pastas made with chickpeas and lentils and all sorts of beans now that are better than white pasta. There are so many things that are better than white pasta now. There's quinoa pasta also. And when it comes to adopting healthy eating habits, Greenspun says it starts at home with us, parents and caregivers. We should be setting an example. That's number one. You know, kids mimic everything we do. And so if they don't ever see you eat a fruit or a vegetable or sit down for a meal or eat a, um, a healthy snack or exercise for that matter, why would they do it just because you tell them to do it? Greenspun says a nutritious diet can also boost your immune system, something we're all a little more conscious of these days. And so if you don't have a healthy digestive system, you're not going to have a healthy immune system. And so the thing that keeps your digestive system healthy is feeding it with lots of fiber um, and vitamins and minerals, but think, you know, the brightly colored fruits and vegetables, which are all going to be high in fiber. And that is what's going to boost your immune system and, uh, and keep you healthier. And if there's a silver lining to life during a pandemic, Greenspun says she hopes that families are sharing more meals together. Eat with your kids, whether it's 6 o'clock, 5.30, 6.30, whatever it is, they need to see you eating. So I think it's important for at least one parent to be eating with the kids. And you can find more tips on healthy eating habits over on our website. Just head to fox61.com and search under Family First. I'm Maggie Sliz, Fox 61 News.